Hey guys, welcome back to Game Sectastic. Today, I have something interesting for you all. We all know that 5G is cool and all, but I mean, is it good for us? Yes, it does have great speeds, it's faster and has a better everything, but it also has downsides and today, we will be getting into those, the pros and cons of 5G. 5G, as you all know, is the fifth generation mobile network. It is a new global wireless standard after 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G networks. 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together including machines, objects and devices. 5G wireless technology is meant to deliver higher gigabytes per second peak data speeds, ultra, ultra low latency, more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability and a more uniform user experience to more users. Higher performance and improved efficiency empower new user experiences and connect new industries. No one company or person owns 5G. But there are several companies within the mobile ecosystem that are contributing to bringing 5G to life. Qualcomm has played a major role in inventing the many foundational technologies that drive the industry forward and make up 5G. So now, let's talk about the pros of 5G. Through a landmark 5G economy study, we found that 5G's economic effect will likely be realized across the globe by 2035. That's a long way from now. Supporting a wide range of industries and potentially enabling us to 13.1 trillion worth of goods and services. This impact is much greater than previous network generations. The development requirements of the new 5G network are also expanding beyond the traditional mobile networking players to the industries such as the automotive industry. Studies also revealed that the 5G value chain including OEMs, operators, content creators, app developers and consumers could alone support up to 22.8 million jobs or more than one job for every person in Beijing, China. And there are many emerging and new applications that will still be defined in the future. Only time will tell what the full 5G effect on the economy is going to be. The main advantages of the 5G are a greater speed in the transmissions, a lower latency and therefore greater capacity of remote execution, a greater number of connected devices and the possibility of implementing virtual networks providing more adjusted connectivity to concrete needs. The combination of increased speed and network capacity on 5G networks will create the potential for larger amounts of data to be transmitted than what was possible with 4G LTE networks. 5G networks are architected differently from traditional 4G networks allowing greater optimization of network traffic and smooth handling of usage spikes. Crowded stadiums and other venues have struggled to provide seamless connectivity to larger audiences, but 5G could make it possible for sports fans to live stream their experience from any seat in the arena. For business, the impact of increased bandwidth will echo across many departments and divisions in the form of big data. While consumers and businesses are eager to experience the benefits of 5G for themselves, availability of 5G coverage is still limited. Today, all major US cellular carriers are deploying 5G networks in major cities as they prepare for wider rollouts. So this was everything about the pros, but what about the cons? Well, let's get into that now. The main disadvantage of 5G is that it has limited global coverage and is available only in specific locations. Only cities can benefit a lot from 5G network and remote areas may not get the coverage of it for some years. Moreover, 
the expenses for setting tower stations are high when compared to other networks. The range of 5G connectivity is not great as the frequency waves are only able to travel short distance. Added to this setback is the fact that 5G frequency is interrupted by physical obstructions such as trees, tr trees, towers, walls and buildings. The obstructions will either block, disrupt or absorb the high frequency signals. To counter the setback, the telecom industry is extending existing cell towers to increase the broadcast distance. When it comes to cellular de devices connected to 5G, it seems that batteries are not able to operate for a significant period of time. The battery technology needs to advance to allow for this enhanced connectivity where a single charge will power a cell phone for a full day. Alongside depleted batteries, users are reporting that cell phones are getting increasingly hot when operating on 5G. The download speeds of 5G technology are incredibly high. In some cases, up to 1.9 gigabytes per second. That's even faster than my own Wi-Fi. However, the upload speeds are rarely more than 100 megabytes per second, which is not quite as incredible as initially promised. In, re in relation to existing mobile connectivity, however, the upload speeds are higher than being seen with 4G LTE. What was promised as a boarding pass to the future has grounded our flights. Pilots around the world are afraid to fly to the US as they fear that 5G waves could bring planes down. To conclude, the virtualization will enable greater service customization, scale and optimization. The standards even envisage network slicing in which there may be a de dedicated slice across the whole system for a particular user group and application service effectively computational and network resources on every box reserved just for them however we cannot afford to forget the drawbacks and hopefully a solution will come out in the future ahead this is shawnak from game thanks for watching this video bye bye